here's an update on my aquaponic system. My first grow bed. I've got some peas that just came up a couple days ago. I've got some green bean plants in there. And I got a couple of candlelight plants in there. On the top I have expanded clay pellets. They're about two or three inches thick. And then I have some finer gravel underneath. It's the same gravel that I have in this second grow bed. And this, this is the first thing I put in was uh, these onions. And I'll tell you what, they just took off. In, in five days I had one onion that grew four and a half inches. Now, you can look way down in there. See that little tiny thing right there? That's a carrot. I don't know whether you can grow carrots and gravel or not, but we're going to find out. Let's see, there's another little wee bit of carrot right there. So, something to do. Try something. Doesn't work, then we'll try something else. And here's my tank down here. I got a hundred gallon uh, feed tank for uh, stock. Got it at the farm, uh, the bureau. Hundred gallon. I went back to the, the lake that I got. I caught 21 bluegills and put in there. I figured if the bluegill died, it wasn't out or anything. We tell them into the garden and go catch 21 more and try again. So far, we've been testing our, our water since we put this system together about three weeks ago and right off the bat we had an ammonia spike which is uh, I suppose it's common this, this is what I'm reading on the internet that when you put a new system together you get an ammonia spike it went right up there uh, the last couple of days it's showing that it's starting to drop back down again I've got high pH I've already put uh, half a cup of vinegar in there they say that uh, that's a nice, good, natural way to lower the pH. So, it did lower the pH for one day, and then the next day the pH went back up. I haven't put any more vinegar back in there yet. I'm trying to let things stabilize naturally. My fish are doing good. Uh, I, I go out and dig worms in the old garden every day. Uh, so, they, they, they get a good uh, worm and grub diet. I take good care of my fish. Um, you can hear the one... This one right here is siphoning out right now. This one here is getting ready to siphon. This one seems to work a little better than the other. Uh, of course, I'm doing a lot of playing around with these bell siphons. This is my first attempt. See, I took my pond pump and I left my frog hooks up to it. And I hung my frog up there so that he shoots water right back down in there. And uh, I got a pretty good aeration going by doing that. And that uh, keeps the pump from having too much back pressure too. Uh, this one here is getting ready to cycle. This one cycles pretty good. There it goes. Just start. This is. They're not very big grow beds. I've got my trickle of water turned down as low as what I can and still make the bell siphon work. But grow bed was bigger. I'd be able to have a longer cycle time. Right now I've got about nine to ten minutes of cycle time. So that's about six times an hour. The plants seem to be doing okay. Now well, I got me a good uh, a good algae bloom going there. Does that every time, but it does a nice job of shutting off. Okay, so we've got that. We get the bell system, bell siphon system. But look at this here now. I went and uh, I bought me a couple of joints of PVC, four inch, schedule 40. Uh, drilled a row of three inch holes in it and bought the little see through pots here. Put them in there two days ago. No, three days ago. And look at the root growth. Just unbelievable. 
so I've got water continuously flowing in and continuously flowing out And this is coming from my pump right there and then we'll go back over here I hope I'm not making everybody dizzy I got the uh, some banana peppers and a couple of tomato plants in there that's got uh, I put a seed of green leaf lettuce and it's germinating that was five days ago same thing there green uh, lettuce and this one here is purple lettuce and this one was purple lettuce and this cap right here is how I regulate the water level this way I can turn this cap down and that will lower my water level as I turn it down it's not glued on there and that uh, goes around and it goes right back into my tank so as you can see everything's under construction I, uh, I don't have a automatic vent opener yet I have to get one and I still got a little bit of construction left to do on the greenhouse and get my my vent and my doorway sealed up and I got to get me a piece of cart carpet they say that that's real good to put on the floor uh, a good black plastic backed carpet and uh, that'll keep this grass down I like to do that put a little gravel on top of it so and one thing I learned about building my little sawhorses for my pipes, I got my pipes too close. So before I finish out that second pipe, I need to stretch it back this way. Get it over in here. Get myself some room. So, well, other than that, I'll uh, keep everybody informed. There's my test kit over there. I test my water every day or every other day, and I'm keeping the... Uh, uh, records watching my my numbers I test it for temperature pH ammonia nitrite and nitrate every day so hi right, folks thanks for watching if you have any comments give me a suggestions or anything like that I mean I'm, I'm here to learn and I'll let everybody know whatever I find out all right thank you